Well, you'd think the number one rule for any school bus driver would be never, ever leave a child behind. So why did one order 18 kids off her bus, abandoning them on the side of the road? The youngest child was just five, little Bobby. He joins me now with his mum, Kate, along with Gemma and her girls, Emily and Ellie. Really nice to see you all. Hey, um, Kate... I can imagine the mama bear yes. came out in you. Take me through the emotions and how you're feeling about yeah. what happened. It's unforgivable. It's just a, the fact that we don't have answers and why Bob was nearly hit by a car. Um, it wasn't for Gemma and her daughter calling um, her mum. Like, it could have been terrible, like a lot worse than it was, and just not getting answers, it just mortified. This happened uh, last Friday, just south of Brisbane, and th the kids were from three different schools, and Gemma, both your girls were on the bus, so Emily, who's 11, and Ellie there, who's 7. How did you find out they'd been kicked off the bus in the first place? We received a phone call from Emily. Um, it was frantic. She was so upset and we uh she said mum we've just been kicked off the bus um can you please come and get us i mean this is why we give our kids mobile phones in the first place right emily if you didn't have a phone what would you have done well i would have like done the responsible thing and taken bobby home to his parents and then i would have taken a couple other of students that go to my school i would have taken them home and then i would have taken my sister ellie and me home emily can you just explain to me what what actually happened on the bus and what happened when the bus driver pulled over so a couple of kids were whistling like for a couple of seconds and yeah. then the bus driver pulled over and asked us who it was and then a couple of us pointed to the person and she told them to stop and then they did it again mm. and she pulled over and then she kicked she got off the bus and then she wouldn't get back on and then she kicked us all off how were you feeling and 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 did you manage to stay calm because you did you had your little sister there to look after but were you a, a bit panicked i was panicking at the start because i didn't really know what to do because when the bus driver got off the bus like she wasn't getting back on so then a couple of high schoolers told us to just walk home. So that's what we started to do. Ellie, can you tell me what happened when you had to get off the bus? Um, I was like really scared because cause I, because um, it was like a long way from home. So, and I was really scared. So, and I was angry because she kicked us off the bus and and we didn't know what to do. Yeah, so you had your big sister Emily there. Did she look after you? Yeah. Can I ask you, Emily, did you feel scared? I was so scared of what was happening at that moment. Mm. Are you proud of yourself though? It sounds like you handled it really well. I'm really proud of myself for calling my parents and mm. just being able to get my friends from my school home safely yep. without them being hurt. I mean, you had uh, Ellie there, so the girls had each other, but little Bobby, he was on his own. Gemma, you spotted him when oh, you picked up the girls. What was he doing? As the, the girls crossed the road with another student to get in the car, um, that's when Bobby was on, on the road as well, um, and we just threw him in the car. H hang on, Gemma, can I, am I getting this straight? You're telling me you picked up the girls and Bobby, who is five, is about 500 metres up the road, standing on the road. Standing on the road, yes. There is no doubt in my mind that he would have been taken out because you couldn't see him. There's, there's no way you would have been able to see him coming from the opposite direction. Um, yeah, it was so dangerous and it makes me sick. I feel sick thinking about it. The thought of them wandering the streets alone, it's hard not yes. thinking dark thoughts, the what ifs, right? Oh, yeah, definitely the what-ifs. What if um, someone devious came along, you know? Luckily, Gemma and her daughter were quick thinking, mm. but it could have been someone else. Mm. And it's not forgivable. It's, it's unforgivable. And we now know it's been confirmed the driver is no longer employed by Bus Queensland. Um, are you happy with that outcome? It's a danger to the safety of our children, um, and I would feel the same for any bus driver 
who has committed these god awful acts. Just thank God that our children are safe. Look, we're just so glad everyone is okay and we hope this never happens again. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.